You think you know, but how many of you actually understand how HIV works? I'm Dr. Tlaleng and I'm going to show you the HIV cycle and how it affects the body. If this is HIV right here, once it comes into contact with your body, it attaches to your cells and it gets incorporated into your own body cells and the DNA of the HIV virus then starts to replicate. It's after this process where the HIV starts replicating, where the effects of the HIV infection starts to become apparent. What then happens is that your own body cells, your soldiers that help your immune system to fight off infection, then become depleted. And once these cells are depleted, you then end up in a situation where you have acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, which commonly is known as AIDS. And what happens then is that you are more at risk of getting opportunistic infections and some of the cancers. HIV is not spread by kissing, sharing mugs, or touching a, no a doorknob of someone who has HIV. But HIV is found in blood, in semen. Traces of it is found in breast milk. And we know that pregnant women can also pass HIV to their children during labor or during breastfeeding. What's important to know about HIV is that it affects everybody differently. Some people will progress very quickly once they've had the initial infection and have AIDS. Other people, the disease is very slow and can take up to 10 years before you have any sign or symptom of infection. Which brings me to my next point. It is very, very important that all of us test regularly for HIV. Depending on your risk factor and the type of sexual activity you are engaged in, you may have to test for HIV every six months. That would be twice a year. We need to remember at all times that HIV is a manageable disease. It has become one of those chronic diseases that the doctors and the nurses can help you hand in hand manage this condition. It does no longer mean a death sentence. However, there are a few things that you do need to understand, like your risk factors and the type of sex that you are having that's putting you at an increased risk of HIV. And remember to always use your condom, whether it be the male condom or the female condom, every time you have sex.